Ah, the March to Madison is over. Now it's time to earn a title. Semifinals tipping today and in Division 4 tonight. Top seed St. Mary Catholic, inexperienced on the big stage, but talented for sure. The matchup against Kenosha St. Joe's. The Zephyrs turning defense into offense just like that. Fisher McKenzie, the steal, and he will lay it in the other way. SMC enjoyed a seven point advantage. Later, McKenzie snaps it ahead to Daniel Griffith. He will get the hoop, he will get the harm. Zephyrs by 10, but here comes to Kenosha St. Joe's in the second half. Eric Kennessy knocks down the fall away. Jay St. Joseph's now up by six. Griffith keeping the Zephyrs in it. Another three point play makes it a four point game, but Kennessy much, too much, too much. He went off, forget this, a state record 51 points. Kenosha St. Joseph's knocks off the top seed SMC. Eric Boynton has more from Madison. St. Mary Catholic's first trip to state since 2009 is a short one, falling in the state semifinals after running into an absolute buzzsaw against Kenosha St. Joseph with Eric Kennessy going off for a state record 51 points. It was a little frustrating because he's making every shot he took, but also in another way, it's like it's pretty impressive what he's doing, like scoring the most points ever scored in a playoff game. Yeah, I mean, you just got to give all credit to him. Yeah, it's tough to go out this way, but super just proud that we were able to get here in the first place. You know, they've set the tone and the path for, I think, the program and the other players, and I think for the younger guys to, to you know, to aspire to. We are really going to miss them. Head coach Paul Bradshaw getting a little choked up talking about that group of seven seniors that leave the program but also leave a legacy that they hope will get them back to the Kohl Center in a little quicker than 14 years from now. Reporting from Madison, Eric Winton, Action 2 Sports. Thanks, Eric. In D3, Brilliant making its fifth appearance at state and second straight. Jeremy Lorenz looking to lead the Lions past Lakeside Lutheran in the Division III semis. It was tight throughout. Citadel commit Levi Burkholz with the steal and the cram. Lakeside by one. Brilliant trying to take advantage when Burkholz was in foul trouble. Brady Geiger, the Lions led by four at the break. Second half, Lorenz going to work. He had seven points in the first half. But 18 in the second stanza, the lead is five. Lakeside Lutheran took a later lead, but then Bennett Olson, big top of the key three, back in front by four is brilliant. Three minutes to go. The lead stays four after the beautiful lob goes to Lorenz, who had 25 points, six blocks today. Up two in the final moments, the Lions inbounds is stolen. Burkholz trying to make magic happen, but the clutch steal by Olson for brilliant. The Lions survive by two. Impressive tonight. I think it means a lot. Uh, I mean, we have a lot of support from our community and stuff, so we know that they they live and breathe our basketball just as much as we do, and so we want to go out there and play hard and play a good game and hopefully come away with a win, but we know that we've got our community support no matter what, so I think that's really what makes it exciting to play in a championship game is that we just get to play one more, and hopefully we can come home with that gold ball. 